This podcast is part of the Zeo to Hero Podcast Network. You stay right here. The world is very lucky to have you, and so am I. May the power protect you always. We heard the voices. We can hear them. We can touch them. We're going to find out who they really are. Well, now that's a terrible idea. I'm going to do that one more time because I felt like I sloshed it. Have, would Dino Charge go on? No, Dino Charge, um, Dino Fury, and RPM are my top three. Those are my top oh. three seasons. So, um, and it's tough to pick them because there's some really good seasons. Like, it's hard I, not to have Time Force in there, but like those three yeah. just like hit for me harder. Yeah, I do gotta say, Dino Charge was pretty good because they actually went to uh, t- ten Rangers, and I, I love that. Yeah, yeah. Idea. and each of them uh. had like a really hilarious backstory. Like, it's kind of like RPM, yeah. but like where you really get to know the characters, but it's like more silly and less serious, you know? Um, yeah. Except it's not, obviously it is serious that like, um, that Yoshi's characters got stripped from time and there's some serious stuff in there. Like, yeah. you know, his yeah. mother is like, dead. The, dude, and the like... dude's like a hundred million years old. And yeah. Like, yeah. 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 <laughs> It's that time again for another episode of Jim. What are you doing? That face. Gotcha. <laughs> well, Jim, thanks for uh, thanks for having me again for another episode. What? I'm not having you. You're the, you're the host. You're of the having show. me, what are, huh? What are you What are you talking about? Okay, let me. T- thanks again, everyone, for joining us for another episode of Zio. No, no, let's go back. Hero. What are we talking about? What, no, what we're gonna we're gonna no, keep going. We're, for we're it. going back. We're going back. We're going. No, what are we're you not. About? No, 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 no. You know what? I'm calling. I'm calling your therapist. Oh, okay. <laughs> Right. That's okay. Right. So, as we are, well, Jim fumbled that one. Um, so, Jim, I would just like to say that yesterday, me and Jim Way actually yes. hung out. Damn, that's a big Calling one. Phone. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jim, as we know, we got to hang out with some friends yesterday, and uh, that we haven't seen in a couple of years. And that's a terrible idea. We actually took a lot of group photos out there, and I just would like to say, Jim, first off. Your hide and go seek skills have really ramped up. You are completely missing out of the pictures. I know it's great. Um, uh, the only one photo you can see of me—it's mostly just me flicking off somebody. Yeah, uh, it's just my hand. That's all you see. Yeah. So I want to just say, proud of you moving up in the world ranks is very good. Don't worry. At some point, we're gonna go to. Uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna head over to uh, Oregon, and we're gonna start uh, the full on redwood trainings. Oh, and okay, then, uh, okay. Uh, eventually, uh, once I get my passport rejected again, uh, we're going to sneak into Canada and we're going to go to right. uh, Saskatoon and we're going to go <laughs> play over there. And we, we got this. Can, can we do like a whole Rocky Balboa montage? Uh, only in the snow. And then, instead the of snow. like him punching a rack of ribs in the freezer, it's like you just like double dog in tacos or something. No, we're going to be in Canada. It's not going to be tacos. It's going to be oh. two plates of poutine. Oh, yes. <laughs> It's good and or butter tarts. Oh, butter tarts, <laughs> so are, the butter tarts yeah, are so good. <laughs> wait, wait. Okay, I haven't heard that one. What? All right. Well, hey, hold on, hold on. But you so, Jim, educated swine. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm an uncultured swine. <laughs> so, Jim, what have we had in a long time? What, what have we had? In what a long kind time? of episode? What kind of episode style we have not had in a long time? Emotional support episode. Okay, well, that would just... Oh, wait, me. sorry, uh, my bad. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Power Ranger episode. We haven't, we haven't had a minute. solid Power Ranger episode in a long time. And I thought we'd bring on a new voice from another Power Ranger podcast to actually help us talk about some of these fan theories, episode breakdowns, inspiration. But uh, yeah, let's welcome on from uh, Minhas from the Once a Ranger, Always a Ranger. Yeah. Or did I- uh- is that right? It's a Was once it? a once a ranger podcast. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. So we we're okay. We have a friend who's never watched Power Rangers, and oh. we're like making him watch it from the beginning, okay. um, which is always a fun and interesting experience. Um, he unfortunately will get a lot of spoilers because two of us are very deep into the Power Rangers <laughs> lore, and obviously the podcast is not just for it's like for fans, right? So we don't mm-hmm. want to restrain ourselves from like talking about all this. Like theories, like because some stuff, like especially later, start to connect, or they try to. Um, yeah, right, like right. with the Morphin Masters and stuff like that. So 
Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. How far has he got? Have how far have y'all got with him so far? So we are about to reach white light. Um, oh, he's gonna okay. watch that like the next uh, the next recording. Oh, our uploads uh, sessions are a bit like not caught up to our recording sessions, obviously. But oh, so, okay, okay. So uh, we're watching that now, recording it. But the episode's gonna release a while from now. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna but be interesting. Yeah. Gonna be fun. It's I, a big I listen- one, right? I listen to some some of them, and uh, I just like y'all gives each other like so much grief and stuff, and that's what I love <laughs> <laughs> because it reminds me of me me and Jim here. We do the same thing. Whoa! Don't Whoa, throw me in the hey, bus like up. that. Uh-uh. So no. So as we as we normally do in the the beginning of these episodes, uh, we like to show off some of our latest acquirements with uh, our bad financial spending. Uh, Jim, have you got anything? Because we'll save the cool stuff for the last. From Min- Min My stuff ain't cool. Oh man! Oh, whack. So I was looking at so this place called Madness Comics over here in DFW, and these these figures went on sale. Uh, like, and every time I go in there, they're still there, and they're from a show called Tiger and Bunny. And so one of like the main characters they have in a uh, Bruce Lee outfit, and so I was like, oh. I gotta pick it up. Like, it's Bruce Lee. <laughs> it looks pretty cool. And like, I looked at the show, and like, the show doesn't look that bad. And so it's like a big mecha show. And I was like, ah, you know what? I'll give it a shot. And so I picked up uh, this one, the one with her in the, uh, the, you know, Bruce Lee outfit. It looks pretty cool. Oh, wow. Yeah. Damn. And they're from Fig Arts. So I'm like, they're from Fig Arts, man. Like, or, you know, Fig Arts. And so this stuff's pretty good. Like, it's going to be high quality. Yeah. You know, non it's articulation. $15. Like, what am I going to do? <laughs> All right. Is that it? That's really about it. Nothing All else right. crazy. Hold on, I'm going to speed run through this. I got a lot. Uh, Tondro Lego set. I don't know. I picked it up because it, it was. Is it, is it Lego or is it? It's Mega not Lego. It, I can't read. I'm dyslexic. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. I got that. All right. Done. Yep. I got Tondro with a uh, Hino K Kagura. Sorry, Minas. I, I like. like, I like, I like how we're doing like a Power Ranger <laughs> like episode and like it's we're just all bringing toys in our Power Rangers. Uh, I got final uh, Demon Queen Nezuko. Uh, yeah, I got Young Tengen from the flashback series uh, moment he had. Mm-hmm. He's all out of breath. <laughs> I got Guitaro <laughs> from Doki's brother. Uh huh. All right, I'm not done. Then I got the scene with Guitaro fights Tengen. So, you know, I'm happy. You're happy. Yeah. Hold on. I got another more one. stuff. It's in a bag. Wait, is, <laughs> is it a shirt? No. Oh. He Man Chase variant. Oh my god! And then I got the regular one. Oh, you you got both. I got both. <laughs> Where are you gonna put them? <laughs> I don't know. You don't have a He Man collection section yet. You gotta get a new bookshelf. I'll get a new bookshelf. That's right. I got At a new some shirt. Point, it's gonna be but... it's gonna be all bookshelves. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do with all this stuff. Uh, speed ran. Woo. So, <laughs> so me, what, what, what is, did you get? Cause you showed us and I want to see more of right here. Yeah. So I have these, these are re- like retro, uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers collection cards. Uh, so these are actually from the nineties. Um, I don't, oh. a friend gave me these. I didn't buy these. So I don't know where they got it from, but these are actually really interesting. So we have like pictures from the show. Um, oh, look at that. And, and then they have like little um, information on it about what the picture's about. So this one says Jason's the leader, um, and like he's just like <laughs> this is actually just a still picture, but he's like he's just thinking about his plan for Rita or whatever. Oh um, wow! And this one, so this is like a character like you won't even really think about. It's just like the host of the Trick or Treat game show, and it has Whoa. like a little like breakdown for her in the back. And it's not just. Um, it's not just uh, Jason's Jason era. It's also Rocky era in terms of red. Oh, this is Tommy and stuff. Hey, let me see if I can get. Um, That's cool. If I can get like Rocky, <laughs> a Rocky card. Sorry, go ahead. You have one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I do know. Um, I saw it. <laughs> That's cool that that Rocky has from Zio, where it's like no more tamales for you in the leaves. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh yeah. It's Rocky. Oh, look at that. Yeah. 
Man, you can see the age on those cards. Yeah, it's like yeah. a little bit older. You, you know, you know, they're from the '90s when they, they thought sleeves weren't cool. <laughs> yeah, the fright. Yeah. <laughs> I should probably put these in sleeves. To be honest, like, yeah, like this monster is like the card is crumbling. Oh wow! Oh um, wow! Yeah, you don't. Wow, you don't see that, and it has a little bio for that as well. Yeah, this horrible looking creature is another one of Lord Zed monsters created to destroy the Power Rangers. However, he soon meets the same fate as all the other Rangers. And it says his name is uh, Commander Crayfish. Wow. What? Yeah. And those, yeah, uh, really, really... are those, if they're from the 90s, are those like the thick cards one? Like this? It's like cardboardy. Like... Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I really yeah. wish you would play with the like voice actors. Holographic. <laughs> oh, fancy. Yeah. Some of these, like, yeah, I, w- I wish they would put the voice actors on because, here, but... like, you know, Brian Cranston did like a bunch of voices for Power Rangers. Yeah, yeah. I-, I heard Billy is named after him. Yep, yeah, yeah. oh, yeah, yeah, Billy oh, Cranston, yeah. yeah. Wow, and that's why it was so great. He was in the new movie, um, yes. which I am upset it flopped because I actually love that movie. It was uh, place... way better than it should have been. Like, you think it was supposed to, like, y- you're gonna go watch it, right? You're like, okay, this movie's gonna be okay at best, and it was pretty good. Like, uh, all right, cool. Yeah, I liked it. Yeah, I liked it a lot too. Um, everyone on my podcast really liked it too, and we were all just like, "It was supposed to be a series, and then for some reason it tanked." And I Never. don't know why it tanked. It was so good. <laughs> the, uh, I can't. When, oh. Whenever I saw uh, Stranger Things, I saw the character, the actor that did Billy or uh, Jason was in Stranger Things as Billy. Yeah. I was like, I was like, I just cannot see him as a Billy now. <laughs> Same, which is he's so only, funny. He's only Jason to me. Yeah, <laughs> it's so funny because everyone knows him from Stranger Things, but I'm always like, no, he's the Red Power Ranger. He's, he's the, the Red, Red Power Ranger, pa- and exactly. he's a good Red Power Ranger. <laughs> he's good at it. Even though he flipped the truck and tried to steal a cow. Yeah, you know, everybody yeah. Has yeah. bulls are a bull. A bull. They're, they're, oh, they're yeah. A oh yeah. Five second yeah. joke at the beginning of the movie. <laughs> I think though, like in our Power Rangers rewatch, uh, we always mention kind of that Jason has a lot of anger issues, mm-hmm. and they like pop out sometimes right um like you can see he's like trying to refrain from like like just going all out with his anger like and it's very subtle like you don't and you won't notice unless you're an adult but i think that's what where they took that from with jason and kimberly also in the first two two seasons she's a mean girl like she's really mean Mm. um they kind of like cover it up because she's the pink ranger but like some of the stuff she does i'm like kimberly that's not nice (laughs) And I think that (laughs) they really did that in the the i'm gonna go talk to the principal right now about this what yeah. So speaking of speaking of Jason, so you actually went to Power Morphicon this like yeah. last two weeks or so. Two weeks uh, ago, yes. Two weeks ago. Did you actually get to meet like uh Steve Cardenas and uh Austin St. John? I didn't do that this weekend. I met them when they came to Canada like a few years ago. Oh. Um so this time I was like, I'm gonna meet um some new rangers. So my favorite ranger, and I know like people have opinions about this, Ooh, is you're ready um, to judge. <laughs> Tyler Navarro. From, oh, okay. Yeah. So he's my favorite. I really, really wanted to meet him. And I got to, he was so good. And then I also got to meet um Hunter, who is the newest Red Ranger. Mm-hmm. She's mm-hmm. um, yeah, she's so nice. I loved her as well. And then I I talked to uh Jeff and Kevin from Dino Thunder. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Those are the ones I met in person. and uh, oh, and then also uh Ravi from uh Beast Morphers. Oh, Rob. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Okay. Yeah. Oh, did uh, Tyler do a backflip for you? No, that would have been great. <laughs> That'd be cool. But that would have been just... cool. <laughs> That's fun. So, uh, did you did you actually purchase stuff there too, or how? I don't know how it was. Was it like just a big convention center? It was. It was like a lot smaller than I thought. So, and I, I was telling my friends this. I'm like, in my head, the Power Ranger fandom is like a lot bigger than it probably is, right? Yes. Maybe it's because like you know we find each other, right? Um, but it was actually pretty intimate. Um, and like a lot of like the actors kind of knew a lot of the fans as well. Like I feel like everyone kind of knew each other. Whoa. So it wasn't, it was like two sections. One was panel rooms and one was like the con floor and the actors were also on the con floor. So like oh. the artist alley was half of the con and the actors were at the other half of the con. Um, I went oh, to wow. a lot of panels. That's mostly what I went, what I did. Like, I just like listened to them, like talk about their seasons and whatnot. Um, I didn't want to spend a lot of money, so I didn't see as much Rangers as I wanted to. Like, I really wanted to meet Ziggy as well. But oh. I, and even though they're okay with you talking to them without buying anything, I don't like that because, you know, that's, they're like, they're getting paid to be there and, like, they're giving us their time, right? The least we can do mm. is, like, 
give them some money for it, right? Um, Hunter is, uh, she's super, I don't know if she was before, but she's super into uh, Power Rangers, like the lore and stuff now. She's like really, really excited to be there and stuff. And I, I always love to see that because some of them, like you can tell that they're there because they have to be, which is again, okay, yeah. right? I mean, not because they have to be, they still chose to be there, mm -hmm. but um, I think it is more of a job for them. And that's fine because the, at the end of the day, they're actors. Yeah, right? I, it's just I feel... I was yeah. gonna say, I feel like uh, Hunter Dino. She she does that. She takes it like personal and actually goes out and for for the fans and stuff. Yes, yeah. Brennan Brennan from, who plays Tyler also is like that. He's like super into it. Hmm. Um, oh yeah. I know there's a couple of other actors. I mean, Jason David Frank, you know, R.I.P. He was super into it. You know, oh, and yes. like that's why I love that about him. I know when he yeah. was alive, people. A lot of people were like, oh, you know, he used to get over it. And I, as a Ranger fan, was like, I don't want him to ever get over it, actually. Because, right. like, I love that he's super <laughs> into it. Because I love this thing. And he loves yeah, this yeah. thing. And it's like, he he loved his fans. And it was obvious that he loved his fans. Yes. Yeah. And he was always uh, last uh, last fan standing and everything. So uh, that's what I loved about him, too. Mm -hmm. So he, was, he would be there to the very last one. And I never got to meet him, even though he lives in Texas and does a lot of Texas events. Right. But I've... I've come across his daughter a lot more. And from what I've seen, I, I, she takes a lot of, uh, a lot of it on her shoulders and she, she lets people, yeah, she live. Like, she like lets the fans meet her dad through her. Right. So, and I, it's like, it's like a little sad sometimes too. Cause it's like, we talk to her all the time. And so she, you know, just seeing that, that she'll never have to, uh, she always like remembers her dad and everything. And she said that she actually told me she sometimes she'll start want to cry. Cause like they'll paint portraits of her dad and her and stuff. So that's so sweet. It, it's so, it's so nice. Yeah. And so I gave her something too before. And, but it wasn't a picture of like her dad or it was just like the power coins that I, I made for yeah. her. So that's so pretty sweet. Fun. So, and yeah. I, I love how that she like lets the fans live vicariously through her to, mm -hmm. for her dad. Yeah, it's so it's so interesting when you think about Tommy as a character, um, mm. because he's so popular. And on the on our podcast, we really talk a lot about Tommy fatigue. Because after Dino Thunder, we're like, yes. okay, like bring someone else in. Yeah. But it was interesting for me particularly because I was experiencing Tommy fatigue, and then rewatching mm. it from the beginning, I'm like, oh my god, like I actually forgot I love this character so much, and there was a reason why yeah. he's so popular, and there's a reason why he was so great. Um, and he's still like he's his character still holds up. Like I think his his best era is his White Ranger era. Like it's uh, he's so good yeah. as a White Ranger. Yeah, it's my favorite era uh, of his. I think his weakest era era is his Red Ranger era. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I. I, I yeah. Well. Okay. I. I agree with that. That's actually he's a, at the end of Zio. He was starting to want to leave anyway. It was, and so I can see that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, so. I. Do, you're right. I do like the White Ranger era. That was a. But he was a complete menace as a green, so you can't really. <laughs> yeah, it's funny with I... him as a as a Green Ranger because there was so little footage. So even mm. as a friend, we always joke about this on uh, our podcast. Like even when he was good, he was like, "There's always an excuse for him not to hang out with his friends." So oh, like yeah. in in canon lore, we're always like, "He doesn't want to be there. He doesn't want to hang out with them." <laughs> you know, he's always looking for an excuse to leave. Yeah. <laughs> See you later, guys. <laughs> yeah. Well, I can't go. I have a karate competition, but Kimberly has to sacrifice her game show. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so sorry, I guys. Take away. I have more important things to do. Uh, <laughs> later. Yeah. See ya. Yeah. So, uh, so as you started doing a rewatch uh, as an adult now, have you mm. actually like picked up new, like, uh, like new, uh, how do you explain it? Like you wouldn't have caught as a kid. Yeah, lots mm. of stuff. Um, it's actually kind of nuts. So I'm actually watching ahead of them as well because it's it, it's easy to get caught up in it. I'm in space now. Um, and yeah, there's so much things I didn't notice as a kid. And I, I feel like I understand the characters a lot more as an mm -hmm. adult. And funnily enough, you would think that you would think the show is more silly as an adult. I think it's like more stressful. Like I feel more stressed for them because I'm like, these guys, I yes. genuinely, if you were a teenager experiencing this, it's stressful. <laughs> like this, <laughs> this is not a life I would want to live as a teenager, right? So right, yeah, right. you just like really like um, understand like Trini is like a big one where you really see that she's the heart of the whole team. It's not something mm -hmm. you fully understand as a kid, but she's really like emotionally everybody's yeah. rock, um, which is something like 
you I don't think as a kid because you're only there for the punching and the kicking as a kid. But yeah, I was just about to yeah. say that. Yeah, yeah, you're just there for the fight scenes. That's right. But fight yeah, scenes giant giant robots. Yeah, yeah, which yeah. is still fun to watch. I'm not against the fight scenes and <laughs> yeah. giant robots. Yeah, I get I get more like uh, into like cost wise or something. You know, like uh, mm, who's what's it going? Uh, Cosmic Fury when they were in Levina Planet. Yeah, and they decide to fight big robots in the one city that's there. Yes. I'm just like, what is, do they have a protection plan for this? What, who's the, who's their government? <laughs> yeah. And how are they They've paying been ruining to these people's lives? Yeah. <laughs> in, in, in Mighty Morphin, they always make a point to say on the newscast, nobody's hurt. And to, <laughs> or they say they've evacuated the city. And then in Zeo, they started introducing this thing called the monster alarm. So like a monster alarm would go off and everyone oh. would evacuate and stuff. So there's some like in lore reasons to why like nobody dies. <laughs> or gets oh, hurt. yeah. That's a good point. Oh man. Yeah, you're right. The, in Zeo, they did do that. Yeah. Cost still oh, yeah. incurs for those buildings. They're, it's it's nice of the monsters to always fight in abandoned areas. It, you know, destroy the the buildings that probably already need to be destroyed by construction. No, the only thing I can <laughs> yeah, say yeah. is, so, like, they, they throw a punch, <laughs> they break down a building, one punch, like, those buildings, like, who was those contractors? Yeah. Like, who did that? Like, that yeah, yeah. should have held up at least two punches. Yeah, yeah it's, it's true. Right down the coastline, like, you got, you, I don't, they got, uh, they're in California, they got earthquakes all the time, like, you know what, I have, I have serious questions about the contract work <laughs> that got put in those buildings and people's homes out there. People are not going to be okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that dang. Yeah, and then, then when Turbo comes around, they got big old, uh, Zord, uh, Zord vehicles running around the streets. Who's yeah. feeling what? that? Is that my other question? Like, yeah, yeah, they got these giant zords running on the street, up on the streets. I've been on the California highways. There is traffic out the wazoo. How in the world they get past that? <laughs> yeah, That's my other question. Like this, I'm like, this is completely unbelievable. My suspension of disbelief is gone. You are liars. <laughs> <laughs> in in the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie, uh, there's a lot of destruction done to the city, and then at the end, they have like a fireworks show. And I'm like, mm. how much money does the city have? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, what do you mean? It's like you're sitting there, <clears throat> like you're sitting there looking at this, like, man, you know, Angel Grove looks a lot like Sydney, Australia. <laughs> Is that where it was shot? That's yeah. so funny. Oh, yeah, I didn't so know that. But actually, that makes sense. Angel Grove in the movie is so it's like, so different than the show, right? Oh, <laughs> like, yeah. uh, so they got a lot of it out, but there's there's you can see like there's a couple of places that were like very Australian. <laughs> That's so and, uh, funny. The, the 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 needle thing that um uh that ooze grabs that's uh, that's a big landmark in Australia. Oh, oh. Yeah. good to know. Yeah, yeah. interesting. Yeah. In in the show, it more looks like a small town almost, except for when yeah. they're like destroying the city yeah. because it's like the school, the juice bar, and then like suburban area is like all you really see. Yeah. The only yeah. time you see the city is. Uh, when the monster is attacking, but in the right. show, it, it looks like they're you innocent. always see them in the park, they're always in the park, yeah. Always. Mm. Like, you know, yeah. I, I don't know who's doing it, but man, that grass is great, right? Grass, I agree, yeah. <laughs> they're at the park not... or the beach, yeah, yeah, the like uh, when beach, and that grass do not stain at all, yeah, no stains. So, so when you watch the uh, Power Rangers Turbos, the movie, uh. Diva talks to the ship. It's just, it's a massive submarine, mm -hmm. but in the show, she transports it to. It looks like a little pond. Yeah, How? yeah, yeah she does. <laughs> How? <laughs> My favorite thing about the Power Rangers, uh, Power Rangers Turbo, right? I have things I love about that season, even though I don't love that season. And one of them is like her like telescope thingy coming out in any liquid. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> and there's a scene where Bulk and Skull are like drinking something, and it comes out like the yeah. little tiniest like telescope thingy, <laughs> <laughs> and Bulk and Skull like think it's a straw. So funny! I'm just like this is this is peak Power Rangers humor. I love this. I'm here for I, it. I, I will say, Diva talks. Diva talks like my favorite, not my favorite favorite, but like one of the funniest villains. Yeah, like yeah. her and uh, what's her face, um, her brother uh, or cousin. Elgar. Her and Elgar, they're back and yeah. forth. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're back I and forth all the D time. Like, yeah. Perfection. Diva Tox is like one of my favorite villains as well. I mean, usually like the female powerhouse villains, I end up yeah. loving because you know for yeah, obvious oh, yeah. reasons, right? Like Rita was the 
the oh, yeah. original yeah. one. But Diva Talks won, right? Like yeah. she actually succeeded yeah. in defeating the Power Rangers. Like a lot of villains can't really say that, which is so funny because in space, so T Turbo unfortunately wasn't a great season and in space is an amazing season. Astronema is arguably not as strong as Diva Talks, yeah. right? If if, oh. if, if you break it down, right? They, yeah. they all, she's only considered strong because uh, Dark Spectre said she was strong, right? Yes. So, yeah. yeah. She's oh, smart, though. She, she is really, very smart. Yeah. She she gets really close to winning. Like, really, like she's that close to winning. Yeah, yeah. Like, pretty close. Yeah. And, like, if oh. Andrew Sims took on the ship, she would have won. Like, yeah. yeah. She, I'm not saying she's a not a strong villain at all. She is a very, yeah. very powerful yeah, yeah. Uh, with villain. Like, but I'm just saying so, in conjunction like, to Diva Talks. Yeah. I want to say Diva Talks beat the Power Rangers, but uh, Astronema almost conquered Earth. Oh, uh, that's what but Diva Talks technically did conquer Earth by defeating the Power Rangers. Oh, well, that, yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. Okay. You got a good point there. That's a good point. Yeah. Because yeah, that was their last hope, uh, the defenders of the Earth. Mm hmm. And she even said, "Why would I when they? Why would I leave? I just, I just conquered the Earth." Diva Talk says that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh. In the final episode. Yeah. Astronema, though, I love her so much um, because she's one of the first like complicated villains, I think, where she mm. has like a moral quandary and whatnot. Um, and her space mm. dad is the best, you know. Like, there's oh, like, yeah. it's it. Astronema, honest, honestly, like even though, and she becomes like the Pink Ranger later, Crone. Yeah, she's yeah. she's a good character. I was just talking about in like purely strength perspective, um, but she does have like I think I mentioned it. Like, she does have smarter plans. I think the execution oh. just always kind of falls short. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, she's also the one. I think one of the very few that gets uh, augmentation stuff to keep her evil. Yes. Yeah. And so I really like that too. And yeah. aesthetically, that looked so cool, so, cool. so good. Yeah. <laughs> and if you if you notice too, in the beginning, she has this amazing like makeup, like dramatic makeup style and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And then after when she has the augmentation, they they don't really put a lot. It's like she looks tired and drained. Like they visually made her face Whoa. look like it's like forced. It, it was such a clever little detail yeah. that I love that they did that with her. Um. Wow. Okay. Now that you say that, now I think about you. You're right. Wow. Well, you just, you, I just learned something new today. I didn't think about that. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm proud yeah. of you. Yeah. <laughs> tired of me. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm, okay. I'm so who would you say you. is I'm your, who would you say is your favorite henchman? Henchman. Mm, that's a good uh. one. There's so many seasons, so I'll have to think about it. So, oh, hmm. And then I have to like remember who they are. I kind of really like Elsa. Um, but also in Ninja Storm, I like the two, I forget their names, the two nieces. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think they're really funny. So I think yeah. they have, like, Elsa and them have different vibes completely. But I think that those two are, are fun ones. Right. Yeah. I, my personal favorite is from uh, Operation Overdrive. I know he's not a henchman, but he kind of hangs out with them. And it's the, uh, what's, his, oh, my God. The Yeti? The Yeti. Oh yes, yes, yes. I can't Operation remember. His name. A funny played by a uh, yeah. by the guy who did Boom and yeah. uh, Mechanic. Yeah, he's it's always right. like, nice. Yeah, it's always like such a, a, a like a little brain frizzle when I see the same actor come back again. Oh um, yes. So and especially in Dino, um, Dino Fury, and Cosmic Fury, where they brought a lot of the villains back or like characters back. And, I, mm -hmm. and he came, that actor came, and I'm like, which character is this one? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is he from, is he from Ninja, um, Ninja Steel? Is he from SPD? Is he from Operation Overdrive? Like, yeah. <laughs> it's like, you have to, like, it took a second. Which is you know, like, uh, when, Ninja when you see the same actor show up again and again and again with slightly different backstories, you're like, are they, are they playing D&D? &D? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. So I'd say... How bad's your rolls today? <laughs> so I had a I had a really dumb moment is when I saw uh when I saw him in Cosmic Fury, I was like, oh, it's mechanic. He's coming back. I was like, hold on, wait a minute. Mechanic mechanic. Ah, uh, <laughs> I didn't catch it the first time. <laughs> yeah, he's a mechanic. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, when in Ninja Steel, I was like, how did I not catch this earlier? Like I'm normally on top of these uh word puns. <laughs> Yeah, and like I love, mm. I love their little. So what's funny is Diva talks. Uh, back in the day, people used to harp on her because she had 
a name toxic diva right and they're like that's so uncreative i'm like but rita oh. repulsa is literally <laughs> also like it's like yeah. the same thing i'm like that's such a weird criticism yeah <laughs> i like yeah you're right punny. yeah yeah i like punny like uh, especially the villains too like whenever villains yeah. have like really catchy punny names yeah even like, astronomer is like oh she's the space villain her name is yeah. astronomer right Astrono like, oh god damn yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh man! Thirty-five. He it finally caught I'm, on. Yeah. I'm 30, 34 years old, and I just caught that now. I'm gonna talk to my therapist about this. Dang it! <laughs> she was. Don't you? Don't you call me? She's a villain in space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so how's that make you? Feel? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. How does that make you feel? <laughs> I just start crying in the background. <laughs> yeah. So funny. Oh my what, god. What are you guys' favorite mm. seasons? I'm always oh, interested man. to hear. Yeah. Well, so, and it's. You, top three. Let's say top three. Two top three. Um, I, I gotta say, Cosmic Fury is uh, my. I don't know. I'd say Cosmic Fury is number three. Uh, Zio is number two, and then I did like uh, what is it called again? Dang it, Ninja Storm. I like Ninja Storm. Ninja Storm is really good. Ninja I like that. Good. That's my favorite one. It's a good season. Cam was great. Like okay, Cam was Cam, like one yeah. of my favorite group was, Yeah. I think that that whole series, I, at Morphicon, there was someone who said they didn't like any of the Disney Disney era ranges, oh. but I'm like, some of them are really good. Like Ninja Storm and Dino Thunder and SPD yeah. were all so good. Like banger yeah. after banger after banger. RPM was in that RPM, yeah. Oh, RPM. Yeah. Like... RPM is in my top three for sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love that one. Such a good season. RPM is that season you're like, oh, okay, this is going to be, oh, God. Oh, oh God. my God. Oh god! Yeah. And well, then you're like, okay. well, watching it as a kid or younger, it doesn't really you don't really pay no mind. But when you like when we rewatch as adults, you're like, oh, this is dark. Yeah. What do you <laughs> mean like, the whole oh. entire world is dead except for yeah. this one city? Yeah. Who and they keep mash doing giant robot battles in the city? That's yeah. where Cosmic Fury got it from. That's weird. <laughs> that's, that's what yeah. they got the it from. They're like, if we can yeah. do it for us, we can do it for them. <laughs> Oh yeah, I did like the uh, the cars they had. So he had like an old. Uh... Oh, what did he have? I I just know that the Red Ranger had a Skyline or an S fourteen, and I was like, oh, that's cool. And then I was like, that is so not accurate. Get it out of here. <laughs> Why you know? isn't it? I don't know enough about cars. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, when when yeah. he would drive it around and stuff, I was like, nope, get it out. Because uh, I'm like a real big car guy. So I was like, oh, I nope, see, I see. Get it out of here. <laughs> yeah. That's so funny. Yeah, I don't know enough about cars. I'm just like, oh, cars with googly eyes? I'm here for it. Oh, that's I'm here it. for it. <laughs> it was a good season. RPM is a really, really good season. I love uh, I love the, ep the episode where they uh, they commandeer the, uh, the attack. Um, they attack um plane and they make it to a whale and Ziggy's like, Why why has it be a whale? And then Dr. K's like, Well, we can turn it back to the attack plane. <laughs> oh <laughs> <laughs> He's like, it could be a whale. <laughs> Ziggy and uh, Dr. K coupling was also like a really oh, good my God, shit. It was adorable. Oh, that was... Yeah. I also like, loved oh, sorry that they, they were together in real life. Not anymore, but yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Though Perfect. I do like the fact Dr. K came back for the like later and just didn't lose a single step. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's very good. And but, one of my yeah. favorite scenes too is Ziggy just being like, "But are we or not? Are we not the good guys?" And Doctor oh. K like was like, "What's it like to be stupid your whole life?" But she didn't mean it in a mean way. She genuinely was asking. I'm like, "This is good writing. <laughs> this is perfect." Yeah. yeah. Um, then, oh. then you find out why Ziggy's in trouble with like the 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 mob. Yeah. Like, you find out how and why. You're like, "Oh God, what? Jesus, make me yeah. feel things." <laughs> and the fact that he was in the mafia to begin with, and like having to yeah. like deal with the politicalness of the city. I'm like, this is such no. a good season. Like, so yeah. no. in space RPM and uh cosmic fury are all like the ones that were supposed to like end power Rangers. Yeah. We might yeah. not, we might actually be finished now, which is unfortunate, but maybe uh, mm -hmm. in space and uh, RPM, you can tell they were planning to go out with the bank. And like, yeah. I think they, if they did end at either of those, I, they would have been successful season mm -hmm. series. Finales, oh, yeah. I think. Yeah. Yeah. I like I do like uh, how you mentioned earlier where like sometimes they'll they'll create like in lore uh, throughout the seasons to to like reference or like like close circles on other stuff and and RPM was another one where 
they were morphing and the explosions behind them and she basically was like it's an energy discharge so yeah. it makes a lot more sense now so yeah. why uh so it's like well, what it's like, it's like what's with the 20 foot explosions behind us yeah and i like i like oh, how you damn. mentioned that earlier it made me yeah. think about it when we were talking about yeah yeah and they Ziggy. use that in okay. the episode as a battle the, the, thing. The amount of meta humor in RPM where they're just asking questions. Oh, why Power Rangers is so weird sometimes. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. yeah. It's Good funny time. because they that season that they pulled from, from the Sentai, apparently was really, mm-hmm. really silly. And yeah, they wanted was, this season, season to be more serious. So I think that was their way of kind of trying to like bridge oh. the gap. Yeah. Well, they did a good job, like correlating it to a whole different, uh, t- like because you know, same thing with Turbo. Turbo was like a supposed to be like a funnier style. It, Turbo was supposed to be hel- like it was. It saved Super Sentai, uh, yeah. as being a funny so, series. I could, I could and see that, here, like how the uh, how, how they co- uh, conveyed it over here. I think they did a really good job with like a darker tone on a funny original. Mm-hmm. Once they series. got past, once they got past uh, the Tommy era, once was TJ. So the second half of Turbo is like my second favorite season. Second half like, of Turbo is definitely a lot stronger than the first half of Turbo. Uh, yeah, oh definitely. Like yeah. TJ, yeah. TJ, like okay, don't get me wrong. Justin's still kind of like, eh, it's Justin. Like he's still a good ranger, but it's like, ah, okay, fine. But <laughs> TJ, oh man, yeah. Like when the uh. Ward came aboard, and what, like you, they they didn't know they were supposed to be like full time. Like they were going to be replacements right away. Like oh, we have time, it's okay. We'll do the re- nope, nope. Next episode. All right, we're we're, we're here. TJ, we're I think, it. like really got thrown under the bus as a Red Ranger. Yes, um, yeah, but he is a good leader. Like I, to this day, will stand that TJ is one of the best leaders, even in mm. space. Like yeah. I think that yes. he was like a contender with Andros when he oh, came yeah. to like yeah, leadership. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I feel like I, Andrew's being by himself for so long. I don't think he knew how to talk to people or like yes, no, from from that uh, or. Yeah, you're right. Talk to people. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. He he often kind of abandoned the team as well, and yeah. TJ would have to kind of like muscle the group together. Um, mm-hmm. And he did come up with a. I think people have mentioned this. He did come up with a lot of the plans as well, like yeah, uh, with the Cycle Rangers and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And he he was often telling Andros, like being even, the voice of reason to Andros. Yeah. So even the episode where they uh they have amnesia, right? So uh, Andros and TJ have amnesia. Like there's still the the whole episode where like, TJ's like, well, Andrews wants to fight him, and TJ's like, no, no, we can't, we got to figure out who we are. Yeah. Like, yeah, there's a lot going on right now. We don't know what's happening. We need to calm down. Yeah, TJ's like, so good. Yeah, he's very smart. Fantastic yeah. Ranger. So mm-hmm. yeah, the question I have is: so when they left Earth on that space shuttle, how did they know it was gonna dock perfectly with the space right. uh, shuttle? Yeah, <laughs> it just like fit perfectly in there. It perfectly. Yeah. Like we, clearly, it was like, Zordon knew about the other like other people sent a distress call out that it ended up over here. They sh- they shot off in the space, and he was already working with what was it called uh, not NASA but N A A S A NASA yeah N A S A yeah like Zordon was already in, like he, being cool with them like hey guys we need to make sure this is the design stuff we need to make sure we have so in case we're ready to shoot off the space and so voila like it's all Zordon's plan Zordon knew Zordon. <laughs> The funny or thing unless about you want to get to Alpha Six, did it? <laughs> <laughs> do you, you want to go with that, or do you want to do Zordon did it? The funny thing about in space as well. Speaking of the spaceship, is that it turns into their Zord, but it's also mm. like where they live. So it's what also happens? Their house? Yeah, yeah. yeah what, what happens to the insides when <laughs> yeah. it's a Zord? Yeah, like the food. Like how big is the ship? Like I don't know. Well, don't they have? Uh, doesn't don't don't they have replicators? Like they don't have to worry. Like they can get whatever food they want. Yeah. Oh. So they have well, replicators. So uh, yeah. at that point, you're like, okay, so the uh, so the world that they're coming from, Andrews is coming from, is post scarcity world, and we can't have that. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't we have this? They're they're over there doing Star Trek shit. We can't have Star Trek. Yeah. <laughs> I love that it's a mix of Star Trek and Star Wars too. I know everyone <laughs> oh, says yeah. it's like Star Wars. I'm like, but it's a lot like Star Trek, right? Like oh, their yeah. uniforms yeah. and this. Like everything that like they kind of do more sciencey stuff is like yeah. only Andros is really the Star Wars one. Like he is a Jedi yeah. in a Star Trek world is how I think like the Power Rangers <laughs> in space is like. Oh yes, you got a good point there though. Yeah, he tries the one one man they one arm the show deck. Come on, yeah, they do have a holodeck. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
They did in Star Trek. God. In like Star Trek, so the Star Trek, uh, Star Trek with more spandex. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll give you that. <laughs> yeah. And oh, this yeah. is so funny. Um, I think watching them as an adult too, uh, in space particularly, just like you thought, like as a kid, I just thought they were more mature than they were. And I, as an adult, I'm like, these are kids. <laughs> like, yeah. Well, like, and do they even know here. what they're doing? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, and they it, just got their driver's license. Don't trust them. <laughs> they in the middle of the episode of the season, they have to like sometimes go back to Earth to do their math tests. Right. And I'm like, wait, are they still in school? <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like, hold wow. on. Wow. Why why are they okay, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Like, aren't, aren't they getting, like, suspended for too many absences and stuff? Like, do yeah. they have, like, special... it, Do they go back to, like, their original high school? Are they going well, to a different high school? What, yeah, where like, are they, they like, transfer paperwork? Because oh. the last time I saw them on Earth, they had a bunch of holes in their shirts and there was explosions behind them. I don't think they did the transfer paperwork properly. What's going on here? Like, yeah. you know how long that takes to do? Like, that yeah. takes months of doing this for transfer paperwork. So, the question I have, in the state of Texas, if you're not in school for a couple of days, the truancy officer comes and talks to your parents. What's yeah? What's happening? <laughs> you can't graduate <laughs> if you have enough too many absences. Even if you're like you ace every test, you can't yep. graduate. Like you won't pass that grade if you're not there. Exactly. Like, yeah. Like so you have to have a special we... reason. Yeah. yeah. But there's the more questions that they're answering that they're not answering for us right now. Yeah, I mean, yeah. if they abandon we, Earth completely, we need another and season <laughs> where they answer some of these questions. It's a whole another season. Hasbro, yeah. get on it. Let's go. Come on. Another season. Yeah. I want these weird questions answered. Let's do this. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, we deserve like, at least that much. I mean, hell, I mean, uh, the 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 Jeep came back and kidnapped uh, Justin for one episode. He did, and no and, one blinked an eye. And nobody <laughs> batted an eye. You know? <laughs> I think <laughs> Went also across when the galaxy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait. Justin, he's something else. But I think if they had like the in space guys just be in space, I would be more forgiving of that. Like the fact yeah. that they had to go back, and it still is Angel Grove High. Where it, it raises well, more questions. Like, what are their parents saying? Like, yeah. why are they home? Like, is nobody questioning these rangers not being the like there? These kids wasn't, right. wasn't that mostly just for the first couple episodes, and they, they don't really do anything after that. If yeah, remember, it's like I the think... first like five or six episodes. They hmm. they, they go back, and then after the, it's completely dropped. You, they never bring it back up again. They go to Earth to get parts at first, um, oh, but they do go yes. back to Earth a couple of times throughout the season. Yeah, uh, well, they do go back to Earth and stuff. Yeah, I, I know for school. If, the first yeah, few episodes yeah. isn't for school. Yeah, I, I, right, I know they right. go back for school, and, and then like after like episode like I want to say ten, they drop the whole thing entirely, or they stop going back to, for school. I think. Yeah, eventually it's been a while since I watched that season, but um, as I remember, I remember going, "Oh yeah, okay." And then like later in the season, like they never talk about it again. Like, did they graduate? What's going well, on here? <laughs> well, you did say that they have a replicator on the ship. Do you think they could have replicated themselves? The, the replicate the diplomas. <laughs> In in I'm Turbo, just... they had like um robot versions of themselves. It, yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, that was exactly. a weird episode. That, that was. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Yeah, that was that, that was that was that was uh that was do sheep uh do sheep uh do electric sheep dream episode. <laughs> yeah, real, yeah, real eye robot stuff there. <laughs> yeah, Blade Runner stuff going on right there. <laughs> yes, do, do the, androids dream of electric sheep? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, the one thing I find funny in in Turbo was that you know how every like uh the Thunder Rangers had motorcycles and mm -hmm. you know they all have like little you know. Little uh, to get around and to yeah to get little utility vehicles, but in uh in turbo they had little go kart cars. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I thought that was so size go karts. That's the yeah. thing; they weren't even proportionally right. <laughs> I just they thought it was so funny. Shit. I was like, yeah. "Here we go! Here we go again!" You know, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> guys. <laughs> yeah, turbo is so funny. Turbo, good... oh yeah, it has it's, its moments weird. though. Like it, it has its strengths and weaknesses. It's definitely not my. I wouldn't put it as my worst season. Like, yeah. like I would say. Now, okay, what Overdrive. what season do you oh, yeah. absolutely do not like? Operation Overdrive. What's your yeah. worst season? Yeah, Operation Would Overdrive. You? I think. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Except for the except for when Adam comes back. Oh, it's like, it's like one great episode. <laughs> yeah. So all of Adam and Dax. I can I can live with Dax. Dax is fine. Oh, yeah. He's fine. Mm -hmm. He's just having a good time. The rest of yeah. them. Eh. <laughs> 
What about you two? What are your least favorite? Operation Overdrive. Yeah. yeah. It, it just has so, so many I, questions. Yeah, he can't stand Samurai. Can't do yeah. Samurai. <laughs> I like Antonio. Antonio's great. I love, you know, I love I love my little gay twink guy. But uh, no, can't do the rest of it. No. Mm. So we, the, we, we went on a podcast. Uh, we went on a podcast. We talked about Samurai uh, for two and a half hours. Ah. <sighs> That's really funny. There's a, there's a <laughs> bunch of people on my For You page that love Jaden. And uh, me, me and my my guys were just kind of like, it's so interesting because we're like sort of neutral towards him. Um, He's such an asshole. <laughs> I, and you know, I I'm upset at him because of the whole Lauren thing, right? Yeah. Like, I will never get over that. Yeah. I'm like a Lauren stan. Um, but I think like there's just like a generation of people that that that's their first ranger. So I think that they love him. Well, you know, but, they're yeah. wrong, and they should they should do better. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm like. And that was what I was explained to me, but I'm like, every single season it has a generation of people who are their first introduction. There just yeah, feels yeah. like there's like way more Jaden yeah. that I expected would be. Just like maybe, more than I expected. Maybe, yeah. You know, you know what I bet it is, is so that generation of kids, right? They watch Power Rangers Samurai, and then they right after Samurai came out, they had the next season of Power Rangers, and then we had the Marvel Universe stuff happen right after that. So it the nerd stuff, the nerd culture was no longer shameful. And so they can enjoy Power Rangers and not be like ridiculed for it. And so right. Jaden right. is stuck with them because uh Power Rangers was the, the freaking like biggest thing in the world for the first season. Yeah. First, second, third seasons was the biggest thing in the world. Yeah. After the changeover, like the Zeo, oh man, it dropped off like a rock. I, I will yeah. I will say in, in Samurai, Jaden was very skilled with weapons. I do gotta say that. Yeah, because like he do will do sure. wielded two fire smashers at the yeah. same time. He's definitely not the worst. Um, yeah, and honestly, like he is, he, he's very strong. Um, he's really boring. I just, yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's not, he's not my least favorite, but he's definitely not my favorite. Um, you know, okay, but, yeah, I don't like Mike at all. Uh, like as a character, uh, he's just a one note guy. <laughs> There's mm-hmm. nothing else going on. Uh, same thing with okay, all. Of the all of the rangers for samurai were almost all one note, like uh, yeah, one thing. That's it, one thing. Uh, except for uh the the yellow ranger. Oh, what's her name? Emily. Em- no. Emily. Emily. She had some stuff going because her sister was supposed to be the yellow ranger, but she she got really sick, so she had to take over. And yeah, that was kind of nice. Okay, yeah. cool. The I like the pink them... ranger too, and, and oh yeah, Lauren. yeah, yeah. Gia. But like, Gia all her whole motivation yeah. was I need to like I want to get married and I can't cook, and that was it. I'm like. There's got to be more going on in there. Yeah. Uh, and then, um, but forget Antonio shows up and he's just the gayest person there is. <laughs> no, like he's oh, yeah. very gay coded, very gay coded. And he's adorable. I love Antonio. He's great. He's so much fun. And he's compl- like, he likes to fish and he wants to be with his best friend. Like, I know it's one, like, I know it's kind of one noted, but like, he wants to be cool with his friend. <laughs> he's like, my best friend. Like, I want to hang out with him. Oh yeah, yeah. Antonio is a good. Yeah, there's definitely so like Antonio was a good ranger. I think there was a bunch of the rangers and like Samurai is not my least favorite. It, it's yeah. definitely not on my lower list either. Um, I actually also didn't hate Megaforce, which is an unpopular opinion. Um, I didn't love did it you, either. I like. I think that also is Megaforce. like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. The, do you count them separately? Megaforce and Super Megaforce as separate entities or no? No, I can't count it as one. Okay. Yeah. Uh-uh. But so the actor who plays uh, Troy, he's super into Power Rangers. He and oh, he's yeah. great. We, we, to we talk saw to. him. Yeah. We, we saw him at. Uh, we saw him at uh, more Wonderland Mall. Yeah, more really? Phenomenal Expo. Yeah. And I was sitting there. I'm like, mm, if I could just get over there, I would. Just, mm, no, <laughs> like you're wrong. <laughs> no, <laughs> nah, <laughs> he's super. He's super nice. I would. I would not say that to him at all because he loves <laughs> Power Rangers, and I love Rangers who love Rangers. Honestly, I got oh, to yeah. talk to him at a Chicago Comic Con. And he was super, super into it. And like, if you ask him for a picture, he'll like pose with you and he'll come up with like yeah. ideas to pose with you and stuff. He's he's really fun. Um, he's very hyped about doing fan interactions. Like yeah. he loves that kind of, like uh, apparently he's the cousin of the guy that we talked to. And he that's the only reason why he came to Texas because he was like, I've always wanted to go to, to a Texas place. Oh, so, because that's why. And then he was, huh? Who is he cousin? Who's he's cousin with? Uh, I got. It. I can't remember. Can't remember the name. But we talked to him. Okay. He's apparently a cousin. But yeah, yeah, yeah. He loves fan interaction. Yeah. 
and he loves cousins. Power Rangers too. Come on, you can't beat that. Yeah, it's always fun to it's always fun to hear the stories of like the actors that like grew up watching Power Rangers, then turn become one. Yeah, yeah, like uh, was, Yoshi. Was the, yeah, Yoshi and yeah. his brother, uh, the both Blue Rangers from Ninja Storm, uh, Ninja oh, Steel, yeah, that and uh, me out. Dino Dino Charge. Yeah. yeah, like huge Ranger nerds, and then they're both Blue Rangers. I'm like, yeah, you yeah. do that. Yeah, you got this. It was such an iconic era. Yeah, <laughs> I love that stuff. So, Dino it's Dino always just weird silliness. That, Ooh, what happened with Dino Charge? Go on. No, Dino Charge, um, Dino Fury, and RPM are my top three. Those are my top oh. three seasons. So, um, and it's tough to pick them because there's some really good seasons. Like, it's hard I, not to have Time Force in there, but like those three yeah. just like hit for me harder. Yeah, I do gotta say Dino Charge was pretty good because they actually went to uh, t- ten Rangers, and I I love that. Yeah, yeah. Idea. and each of them had like a really hilarious backstory. Like it's kind of like RPM, yeah. but like where you really get to know the characters, but it's like more silly and less serious, you know? Um, yeah. Except it's not, obviously it is serious that like, um, that Yoshi's characters got stripped from time and there's some serious stuff in there. Like, you know, his yeah, brother like, is the dead. Dude, and, the like, dude's like a hundred million years old. And yeah. Like, yeah. 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 <laughs> I feel so bad Did, for him. Didn't, didn't his brother play a background actor in Dino Charge? Did he? Yeah, I think he was in a couple background scenes, and then that's he a- becomes the Blue Ranger in uh, ooh, but that's gonna hurt my head. Ninja hand. Steel, yeah. Ninja Steel, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or okay, it was it vice versa. Is, so my I question can't. is, Let okay, so you yes. know he has Zato, right? Zato's considered like one of the oldest Rangers, right? Because, yes. uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Wouldn't Coda also be up there, a contender with the oldest? No, Ranger? because. Zato is oh contender, but Zato is way older because there's no yeah. humans at all when Zato uh, first came, came yeah. to Earth. Yeah, sixty five million. I think that's what they said, right? He yeah. was put in the uh. There were no humans at the time. Yeah, right, so, right. I, I I literally want to look into this now. <laughs> I was like, I just kind of I'm curious at this Ooh, point. Ooh, okay. conspiracy time. No, <laughs> okay. So, angel. Okay, so Zato sixty five million years ago, and then let's see. 2.5 million years ago. Okay. Oh. So Kodo Kodo's 2.5 million years old and Zato is 65 million. Okay. So yeah, Zato beats him by a large, large number. Oh, interesting. Right. Like I was at this point, I'm just curious. I just want to know. <laughs> like, yeah. No, no. <laughs> yeah, Zato, yeah. There were like dinosaurs and nothing else, because I don't think there was an overlap of cavemen and dinosaurs. So um, right, right. Yeah. Especially when you got like four, 50, 60 years between or a thousand years between them. Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Zato, I also liked mm-hmm. a lot. I did it at first, um, like for the first three episodes, but then he grew on me. I think, uh, what did he do? In the, he did something in like the second or third episode that made me really upset. Oh, I think he just like was like, wasn't listening to anybody and was like, I'm always right. Um, oh, right. Yeah. But then <laughs> yeah. It, he, like after they introduced, oh, sorry, what's his name? The Gold Ranger. Uh, it, it kind uh, of like Ion? oh Ion yeah, yeah. And that's when I'm like okay now I kind of understand why you're you're like I, you I did are, like the so. fact so okay so they had him standing there and like so Russell the, the guy who plays Zeta right Russell they Curry. tell him he's 65 million years old and everything he knows is gone and he's yeah. like okay you see him internalize that and just turn it off and just keep going mm. I was like oh that's creepy <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm like okay okay that was that was good. He's I had a like, lot of trauma already, though. Like yes. he had to like leave his home because of like a mm-hmm. monster that he like and, approved. And his original team died. And, yeah. You yes, know, yes. All this other crazy stuff. And you're like, okay, this guy's gonna be messed up. Yeah. And lo- he was messed up. <laughs> he, oh, yeah. The best way to deal with it is to not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Let Let's suppress that real quick. <laughs> yeah. Me and my guys, we always talk about how all the Rangers need therapy, probably because, like, even in like, so look at Tommy, who has his brain like messed with so many times, um, and even like Trini, a bunch of the other Rangers, like, literally, like, the villains went into their brains and shifted everything, right? Hallucinogens, oh, memories, yeah. you know, like they just probably are so broken from that. Right, they probably have a lot of PTSD as well. Right, it's just right. yeah. Whoa, that's a good thought. That's a good thought. I never thought yeah. of that. Uh, this is what I was you. saying. Where I was like, as an adult, yeah. when I'm watching this, it feels more serious <laughs> because yeah. I'm like, whoa. If you think you're, about like you're, these you're watching like, it, like you're literally watching like they need therapy. They need therapy. They need therapy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah, man. Okay. 
Definitely like, Zeta and Ion. Like there should be a, like there should be a ranger therapist. Like there, there should, should be like be, yeah. one therapist who kills all the rangers. <laughs> yeah, like just have uh, like an alpha like de- like de- 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 sorry dedicated to doing that. Yeah, uh, just like have his like therapy uh, chip in there and just yeah. like, help <laughs> oh all the God. rangers. Yeah, I think yeah, yeah the the Mega Force Rangers need therapy for having such a shitty mentor. <laughs> yeah, it was just a thing on the wall. Go say, why yeah. are you here? He's the worst. I did like the joke. Is like, well, why is my suit green? Well, there's a simple explanation for that. It just cuts out. Cuts out. Never says anything about it. I was like, okay. <laughs> I was like, okay, that was good. Okay, you got that one. That's funny. That show. That's that, that season was so. It was it, special. Special. <laughs> it was very yeah. Special. It had like good parts and bad parts, which is kind of like with Turbo. Um, I would argue Turbo has a lot more good parts than Megaforce did, but Megaforce wasn't like a complete write off. Yeah. It definitely had its moments. I think Troy, people give Troy too much of a hard time. That's all I think. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. I, don't I think they so give him enough of a hard time. <laughs> <laughs> Do you I think they know. give you think they give him a hard time in real life too? Like if someone sees him in public? I uh, hope or like not. I was tempted too. <laughs> no, I hope not because so so it's so sad because it's not their fault the way the characters are received, right? Like right. Troy, it's not his fault that his Japanese counterpart was so popular. But if you remove that, if you remove that, Troy makes sense as a character for what he is. Standalone mm-hmm. in his season, Troy makes sense. I remember at Morphicon there was a panel for all the green, black, and blue rangers. I don't know why they put all three of them together, but. Someone was like talking to, and I think it was the Operation Overdrive Ranger. He was like, you know, you're rated one of the worst rangers of all time. And the guy was like, well, thank you for telling me that. And I was like, why would you say that to him? Yeah, why would <laughs> you say that? So? Uh, yeah. Why? Like, like what was point, the purpose? Like, thanks. I'm like, you know, I, he could be like, well, thanks. Well, I'm still a ranger. <laughs> Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm immortalized mm-hmm. on it. I think some people just don't have a thought process. They just say the first thing that comes to their head sometimes, and yeah. it's uh, it doesn't come out well, well rounded. <laughs> so, right yeah i would never ask i would never ask them or tell them that you know right no, i would like... i would only tell them the things i like i think exactly. <laughs> like only positive things you know i like this yeah. about your season and i like this that your character did even like with operation overdrive like if i met a ranger from operation overdrive i'd tell them the things that i liked about because not all of them are 100 percent bad none of the seasons are like unsalvageable yeah. like everything has something that's good right so exactly. um i'll be just like this is the one thing i like that you did or whatever yeah Right, right. I'd have been the same way. Well, we do the okay, same thing. So- like when we met Steve Cardenas, we told him that yeah. we oh. did. We made a whole YouTube video about how we defended him. And and by he, the way, like, Steve Cardenas is super nice. If you ever get yeah. a chance to meet him, he is the <laughs> nicest so guy. I it, love it Rocky him, as a character. So. And uh, it was another it was hot him take. And then Bulk and yeah. Skull, we met the same day. Oh, and nice. all three of them were the nicest freaking <laughs> yeah. people. Oh my god. That's goodness. awesome. Yeah. But yeah, no, Steve Cardenas is like, we went up with, like, we're like, we know you get a lot of hate for being like, you know, the second Red Ranger, but we love you. And you know what? They can't have you tamales. And he's like, damn right, they can't have you tamales. Like, yeah! <laughs> he's like, get up here, take a picture with yeah. me. And he's like, how much is it? He goes, he's like, don't worry about it. I whispered, I was like, don't do it, Jay. He's going to roundhouse you. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, pull so the wall. I was like, you put that away. I'm like, okay, it's just, sir. <laughs> have, have you got to meet Vulcan Skull? I haven't got to meet Vulcan Skull. They were at Morphicon. Um, I have met Steve Cardenas. He came to Canada. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. And that's back in the day. So, like, my favorite ranger has changed. Like, Tyler Navarro, as soon as, like, he came onto the scene, I'm like, that's my guy. But yeah. uh, for a while, it was Rocky, which made everyone confused. And I'm like, well, Rocky is the most like me in the sense that he loves food so much. And he's just, like, trying to exist. And everyone hates him for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> like, that's right. He, relatable. Are you, are you- yeah, yeah. Are you caught up in the comics yet? <laughs> no, I've not even started the comics, and I want oh. to because apparently there's a lot of stuff they fill in in the lore. There, yes, they there's do. There's a lot yeah, of they yeah, fill in, and like, there's a really good ending, like a spoiler for Rocky and Adam's story. And I'm not okay. going to say anything else. Oh Dude, yeah, right. that really, Oh, yeah, super good. Touching. Okay. If, if they come, if they end up in a ship, that'd be my favorite thing because I ain't saying um... nothing. I ain't saying <laughs> nothing. I used you need to, to make... read it. It's good. I used to make Rocky and Adam edits, ship edits back in the day. I'm like, this is Crabby. my this is my coupling. They make they make a good coupling, I think. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. A good pair. I, no, I'll agree good. with that. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. I agree times. Yeah. You're doing good. <laughs> oh yeah. But I'm glad That's you guys fun. had a good experience with him. Oh yeah. And then okay. uh Bulk and Skull, nice. they're literally they kayfabe, like that's their thing. You know, okay. yeah. 
kayfabe is like when you live your uh like when you live your character in real life oh i see i see yeah. so okay. so Bulk and skull they, okay, were literally so, their characters in real life yeah so me maybe we met him we met them right and we were talking to him and liz uh was my partner in crime was taking the photo and everything and just kind of hanging out while she was wearing one of our shirts and so like oh thanks you're like the nicest people thank you so much and like as we turn around they come running around the table and like stop us to talk to her like hey you're here we need to say hi to you hi (laughs) yeah Uh, yeah. she's completely endeared to them she loves them (laughs) i don't even know who they are (laughs) i I love i don't even care i don't know who they are but i love them yeah yeah, you win (laughs) i love vulcan skull it, season one, Bulk and Skull um, are so different than later season Bulk and Skull. Oh, and one of the God, things yes. I had trouble like talking to Akil about because he's like, these guys suck. I'm like, no, they, they get different. Like they're not just yeah, like mean bullies. Don't worry, don't, don't worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they 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 like change completely. Cause and rewatching it, I'm like, oh, I forgot that they were actually like these bullies to begin with, yeah. because they're so like heartwarming later, <laughs> you know, like so yeah. endearing later. And it's like, oh wow. Yeah, I think yeah. of the time on, on the time in the story, I think they're like probably 90, 90%, 10%, 10% bully, and then 90% like uh becoming well rounded characters later on. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. And by, and, the, and like, yeah. by the end they of be, it, they're like Yeah, they're heroes. Yeah. 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 They're fighting uh what are those what are the villains? Uh the henchmen. Those like space Quantron. Kind of yes, Quantron. Quantrons. Yeah, Quantron. That's right. Yeah. They're fighting Quantrons at the end, you know? So yeah. No powers, nothing, just nothing going all in. They're that's kind of how that's kind of how we got the name of our podcast. Cause like in Power Rangers, when you first meet them, the the the, the characters they're like nobodies. But yeah. then by the end of the season, they're somebody's they're they're heroes. And uh we we kind of base it off of Bulk of Skull because when we first meet Bulk of Skull, they're nobody bullies, you know. Yeah. You know they crack each other up and stuff. But by the end of In Space, they become heroes and stuff. So but that's kind of how. Here is like, and that's how we got the name, like the hero. Yeah. And like it's so close to zero to hero, so, and like the Hercules song, it is almost impossible to get found on Google. So. Yeah. Yeah. No. yeah. So we took a lot of uh, inspiration from Bulk and Skull <laughs> so, to make this. I, I want to know your mm. opinions on um, Skull becoming a millionaire and Bulk oh still God. being poor. <laughs> it's a choice. Uh, <laughs> I, he chose, I don't understand he that. Chose yeah, to do that life. Like, and then sent his son to live with his poor <laughs> uncle. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. My whole opinion on that. Hold okay, on, so you're Bulk, right. You're Bulk right. Chose to do that to live live like that because like I don't want your money, Skull. That's yours. And then he sends his son to go live a bulk because he's like, you need to know how to live life without any money. <laughs> we might not have this forever. Goes and sends him. They're still goofballs, but he did the right yeah. thing. He was like, hey, now you know how to live without anything. So even if like, it makes you appreciate everything you have and yeah. looks like yeah. best friend still. Yeah, so, but except all, at the end, all. it made it seem like they haven't talked to each other in a while. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Yep. yeah. yeah. So did, like, uh, you know, did you know that bulk or uh, Paul actually fought really hard to get uh jason to come back for that last episode to like let him let them bring him back So, d- did the producers didn't want that or did jason not want that no uh, the producers didn't want it but paul well, was why? like uh because it would make a lot of sense i don't know why they didn't want him back but like he was like yeah i've fought really hard and they finally just caved in <laughs> just, that's yeah. good that's so weird that they you, didn't Sam want him back. Did not have good producers yeah that's so like, weird you have it would... bulk and not skull yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then there's a there's an episode where uh, Bulk is wearing a samurai armor. Yes, yeah. So he, he actually said he took that. They wouldn't let him have it, but he took it. And is and it's in his house. And his wife's always mad that it's there. That's so funny. <laughs> that's a good. That's a good prop to have. Yeah, he's like, you're not gonna find a, a samurai armor in four X. So he's like, <laughs> it's true. Yeah, true. That's so funny. Uh, in in Forever Red, too, Bulk and Skull have a business together. They have like oh. a little like hotel kind of getaway thing. Yeah, that's yeah, right. They that's do. like Tommy's just chilling there for some reason. Uh, yeah. oh. Which which it makes me like. So I like that they're all hanging out together, but they're like almost like nervous to like bother Tommy. And I'm like, what is Tommy doing at this point in his life? Because Tommy's career always like makes me like scratch my head because he's good at everything, right? Like he's considered one of the best martial artists like in the world. Yeah. And then he's like, I'm gonna become a race car driver. And then I don't know what he's doing <laughs> in Forever Red. He's important though. 
And then in Dino Thunder, he has a PhD. He's like a doctor and um, he has a doctorate in, uh, in like, what are they yeah, called? Yeah, paleontology. And he has enough time to do his teaching degree to teach at a high school. But I did the math. He's 25 at yeah. Dino Thunder. Tommy Oliver How? is 25. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, Jason David Frank was not 25, but Tommy Oliver was 25 because in Mighty Morphin, when he's a Green Ranger, they're in grade nine. He was 15 when they graduate. Oh. Yeah, it's crazy. I was like, that timeline makes no sense. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, he has to be like extra, extra smart. Like he has to be like yeah. so smart and like skip yeah. or like skipping grades or like putting all of like I don't know. Like he has to be doing something. Yeah. Those extra, those well, extra head, uh, those extra head concussions, man, really. Yeah, yeah. His well, learning curve. well, we've seen in, in real life uh, that there's kids that graduate high school at like 12, 13 years old. So there's nothing that could say that that can't happen either. That's true. Show. But he we did gra- he did graduate high school at the same time yeah. as everyone else. Yes. So oh, he, ha- yeah, he yeah. would have had to done his college career like short. In. In short well, he could have yeah. been, been taken. He could have started in high school taking college classes. You you could have been, that maybe that's States. why he was never there. Oh, yeah. That's oh, exactly. yeah. He yeah. was already makes doing sense all the college stuff when he was. Yeah, because the high school, school, the high school we went to, they offered uh, uh, college electives as like courses as well. So that oh, can really? that can make that can make a couple. That makes a sense. Yeah. Yeah. He's so smart, which is so funny to me because like, uh, like it's Tommy, right? Like he, he yeah. he's like a dinosaur professor that always kind of like makes me laugh, and I love that for him. I wonder if him, Billy helped him study. Like I have this whole head canon in the back where they're like. Oh, and Billy's okay. so proud of him, you know. Like, yeah. you and know season like two or three, Billy makes something to like make help someone study, like a, a helmet thing to help them study or something like that. Oh, did he? I, I, I can't remember, remember if they did or not, but I feel like they might have. I know in huh. Jimmy Neutron, <laughs> he makes <laughs> <Yeah>. these. Sorry, <lizards. laughs> he makes yes. these like gummies that are books, and if you eat them, you gain the knowledge, and it gives them to Sheen. Oh, and then, oh my God! Yeah. yeah the... <laughs> The little butt, butt <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And and he does make Sheen super smart, and then yeah. he gets so smart that like he becomes a villain. But I I'm don't. Glad you said, <laughs> I'm glad you said that because like I don't know about you, but Sheen's like my spirit animal. Oh yeah, yeah. he's so <laughs> funny. <laughs> Ultra. Well, it makes sense because he's so obsessed with Ultra Lord, which is our like Megazords, you know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It, it's it's all oh my god <laughs> sheen it's the eighth time you brought ultra lord to a uh, to show and tell sheen <laughs> eight times. Eight times. but that's I where i that. remember something like that where they make him smart i believe uh-huh. i would believe that tommy's smart already he's yeah. just like he's literally good at everything he does like i've yes. never seen him fail which is oh no he did fail at one thing being the he's bad at ranger? singing <laughs> that's funny oh yeah he's bad at singing that's the one thing he's bad at he needed to take singing lessons with tanya um oh yeah boy, you are yeah you're right well that's take me back yeah deep cuts <laughs> deep lower i just rewatched yeah. all of this so it's like fresh in my memory that's st- yeah, yeah. yeah yeah oh my god so uh you you watch so when you were watching zeo did you also think like me and jim did it's like where, where, what mountain did they put the Super Zeo Zords in? Where, where? <laughs> <laughs> I where think it was a weird one because it, I like the season. I just think those Rangers are not as good as season three Rangers. So I really liked, like, so, um, Rocky, they changed him, right? They kind of oh, made yeah. him like this, like, creepy girl, like, can't get a girl, like, why are mm-hmm. you going on a di- date with me guy? Where, as in, like, Mighty Morphin, he was like, I don't know. He was like, I just want to have fun. I love karate. I love to eat. And I'm like, this is such a, it's such a difference. And for someone who loved Rocky and Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, like for me, it was like kind of jarring to see. Um, and I just like, even though I love, I love the Rangers. I just think Tanya and like Kat and Rocky and Adam and Tommy don't have good chemistry together. Right. I, oh, think, right, right. I think together they're very, they're a very boring team. I feel like mm. they sound like they're only hanging out because they have to, even though yeah. they'll say things like this is oh, my best friend, Kat. They're they're, yeah. they're just work friends. That's all they are. Work friends. Yeah. And I do not <laughs> buy Tommy and Kat as a couple at all. Like, no, I, I just like, I don't buy it. Like they're just, I'm like, why are they together? Like even when they're standing together, it feels yeah. like they don't want to really be, ta- they're never really talking to each other. They're kind of just like yeah. so far apart from each other. I feel like, yeah. yeah. I feel Kat <laughs> was just the rebound. Oh. And, uh, and then he marries her and I'm like, no, no, <laughs> no. Yeah. Put that back. They're, 
they already started acting like an old married couple. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're already yeah. there. They they were all ready to go. They're good. Did you also have that theory of uh so like when Lair go in the movie heals Cat's leg, but she won't heal Rocky's back? Yeah. <laughs> what what, what in the is world that? Yeah. resist? Rocky does got the short end of the stick. And, you know, I always, like, complain about how Justin replaced Rocky and blah, 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 blah. But then uh, there was, like, one line in the movie where uh, Justin goes, Rocky sent me. And I was like, Rocky, why did you do that? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> now we Rocky, are to deal with this. <laughs> Rocky, yeah, yeah. you dung goof, Rocky. You dung goofed. <laughs> and then you dung goof. Episode one of Turbo, uh, Rocky, it just like, you want your powers back? And Rocky's like, nah. I'm like, Rocky, why did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> Rocky. Rocky. No. Why? Rocky, no. <laughs> yeah. Boy, I ought to pull the life support off you. <laughs> Rocky was, uh, okay. I mean, Justin was a cute kid, though. Like, he was adorable. I just, like, oh, yeah. now, I just, like, think now, that, now, like. Now, now he's just, he's he's a little intimidating now. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, you see him, like, oh, hey, hey. Yeah, I saw him, I was like, <laughs> yeah. I saw him at uh, Retro Mania. I was like, oh, this dude's going to eat me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like, okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> Has the morphing grid not cleaned your suit very well? Are you trying to get rid of stains that are seemingly unpower blastable? Is the Tide Pod that you're putting in the morphing grid not cleaning so well? Is the bleach you're trying to get off the putty goo not doing so well? Come on down to Unpaid Master G's Washer and Dry Cleaner Services. Only open on Saturdays and Sundays from 12 to 1 p.m. You won't believe how well they get all the stains out. I had putty stains in my gloves for years. Unpaid Master G's dry cleaning service got it all free. After beating on mucus, it, my gloves were all stained, but Master G got them shining clean. Unpaid Mentor G's got Demetria's lipstick off my collar. You wouldn't believe the stuff that got out of my suit at Unpaid Master G's dry cleaner and wash interior. This commercial was not sponsored by Zalfa's Helmet Cream. It was sponsored by Unpaid Master G's washer and dry cleaner services. Uh, so before we end this episode we've definitely got it like you said Rocky's your favorite we have a, a conspiracy that Largo didn't fix uh, Rocky because Rocky kept his Zeo powers and Zeo powers increased in power over time which then led Rocky later on to fight evil space villains in, on Earth, protecting Earth until the legendary battle. Then he left. He sacrificed his Zeo powers to open up the grid enough to bring all the Power Ranger teams back to fight the robot army one more time. And then he gets his redemption because he becomes the Red Ranger back in the movie of Once and Always. Okay, <laughs> all right. I so all forgot, that the, the, he gets his powers back in the uh, Dimensions of Dangerous too. He gets his powers back. Yeah, back yeah. Too. yeah. <laughs> That it it would make sense for him to keep the Zeo crystal because it doesn't make sense everyone else didn't you know exactly right? like yeah. uh, and Rocky out of all of them would be the most likely to steal it I think <laughs> I yes. think it's in character yeah. for him <laughs> to yeah. do that. okay you got yeah. a point there yeah that's his yeah. total mo yeah yeah <laughs> totally right. but yeah that's our little fan theory I got a little winded off that I'm seeing I'm getting dizzy. That was <laughs> he's seeing stars. Oh. Seeing stars, but uh, so yeah, thanks. Uh, uh, Minha, it's been so fun with you here tonight. Uh, definitely talking power. We haven't talked power engines in a long time, and actually having someone to talk to that knows the lore, the seasons, the characters. It's just so much fun. Uh, is there anybody that you want to shout out or plug or or anything before before we get off? Yeah, I guess I guess follow our podcast. Um, Once a Ranger podcast. It's on any any platform you want. Um, it's spelt how it sound and uh we would love if you love power rangers you know we love talking about power rangers so i think it'll be good if this is your very specific thing <laughs> that yeah. you like we're here for that um uh, yeah i was gonna say definitely i would say follow them because i i listen to y'all too and y'all have some really like witty banter as well and it's it's so much fun it's so it's something different from what i'm usually used to listening to I'm glad you enjoy it. Yeah, thanks yeah. for listening, guys. And thanks for having me on this podcast. <laughs> yeah. And uh we'll we'll have you back on too because there's so much more that you could talk about with this stuff. And and maybe yeah. next time we'll have uh, the others as well. Yeah, that'd be great. Mm. It'll be a a very <laughs> a lot of start, don't 
don't you make me edit more than I have to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm in my Diva Talks era. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. But yeah, so if you want to follow us, we are at Zio to Hero across all the boards, social medias, uh, podcast platforms. That's our name. You can look us up on Google. Now we are Bulk of Skull podcasting on, I guess, the first one now. So, uh, yeah. So if you uh, you look up Bulk of Skull podcast, we show up in like the first two or three results finally. You're welcome. So, so yeah. <laughs> Amazing. But yeah, so yeah, definitely. Uh, if y'all like it. Check us out next week, though. Uh, so we'll see what other shenanigans we can get into next week. It's All right, everybody. To make my life miserable. Okay. Okay. Bye, I'll everyone. <laughs>